Welcome back to Hero of Leaf Valley. It is winter, and unlike real life, things do not die in winter. <laughs> you leave your dog out in the cold. He prefers it out there. <laughs> it really does. If you let him inside, he actually loses his heart meter. Oh. <laughs> Which I did not know. That's bizarre. Yeah. So despite it being winter and everything being snowed over, you could still go to Lila's place and get a bunch of crops and plant them and they grow just fine. So it's alive. I want to say that's different in Save the Homeland, but probably not. Save the Homeland wasn't very complex. Poe bread. I'm going ahead and planting a lot of the synthesized seeds that I got in the fall. All of them have really bad names. Tomato. Tomato. Is there, like, winter-specific crops in this game, or...? I think there are, but there's only, like, one or two. Uh. Usually the only season-specific crops you get are flowers. I like that's her reaction. You're not greedy. <laughs> I forget, is she the one you're going for? Oh no, you're going for the one you don't like. <laughs> yeah. Alice grew on me as I finished recording the game. There's a character arc to her. Oh. Uh... But it depends on how you play the game. I just want to treat a snap in half one of these days. <laughs> got oranges, which is good. I got a ton of recipes I need to do with those. Because, you know, oranges will grow in winter. They will in Leaf Valley. Because the Harvest Goddess, I think, actually does stuff. Uh. Maybe depending on how she's feeling. Or maybe it's just like a California winter where it still rains. And it doesn't snow, and I'm extremely jealous. Despite it being covered in snow all over, there's no actual snow. <laughs> it's all an illusion. Since this is a new season, we've actually got two new open mine shafts. Since the one we opened last time actually diverged into two different plots, both of them open up in winter. Which is just double scrap ore. Because you're not likely to find many new stuff. The divergent paths actually take you to two different things later on. The one off to the right takes you to a place that is specific to one of the story events. I want to say Rudolph's. The one off to the left is the one that continues on into more mine shafts as the seasons progress. I can't even see that. <laughs> you caught a worm, A+. Plus. <laughs> I want to say I caught smelts in the first spring, but it was so long ago. And I actually needed smelts for some recipes, which I don't have. <laughs> and it was late at night, so I had trouble seeing the lines there. Dark Sleeper. That's a very ominous name for a really tiny fish. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like something that'll hunt you down in your sleep. <laughs> Just flopping across the floor at night towards your bed. dies before it reaches it. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. You see a fish with like a bottle of poison in its fin. <laughs> so tiny that it wouldn't do anything to you if you drank it. <laughs> yeah. Or you just see a dead fish covered in the poison he was trying to feed you. <laughs> Chicken grunt. The name's still dumb. Chicken scream. Flounder! 
It's interesting that they put the two different types of flounder in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What the Monkfish. What? Monkfish are terrifying. The... Yeah. And kind of amazing at the same time. It, like, flew right at you. Another one. Oh, no, wait. That's a different one. <gasps> Cod is delicious. And it's basically just a recolor of the Alaskan Pollock, so we will never escape it. <laughs> he has a name, damn it. They don't care, they're mystical. Oh boy. So we were all waiting for the Funland people to actually do something. This is their villainous shit. From winter through to the end of the next year, they're gonna be sending robots at us. <laughs> and it's kind of awesome. <laughs> really pathetic, but kind of awesome. <laughs> it's kind of awesome, but also pathetic. <laughs> they are basically shitty Team Rocket. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you spooked him. How you stop all the robots are all really easy. You think I know things? You think an inventor would know how to deal with an invention? How we deal with the robot crow is he's going to fly around this plot outside Lewis's house. He's going to grab a bunch of chestnuts and herbs just sitting on the ground. They're actually going to glow when the robot goes near them. All we need to do is to pick them up and keep him from eating all of them. Because, as you can see, his energy runs out really quickly. <laughs> I don't know how many he needs to eat before you actually fail the event. Because I just picked up three, he ate two, but it still counted as me winning. <laughs> so, how does this bird qualify as evil? Because the Funland people made it. <laughs> It was eating all of our weeds! I feel like this event was written really early. <laughs> and then the later ones were written after they decided some actual personalities for the characters, because there's an element to the robots that Charles makes that's consistent through all of them, but isn't in the Robot Crow. We'll see that eventually. I don't want to spoil it, because it's actually pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Alice is developing a villainous crush. It was ideal. <laughs> I forgot that was what you named him. <laughs> well, I didn't name him. Oh yeah. I just accepted what everyone had named him. I'm just looking at it the chat, just I'm disappointed in all of you. <laughs> I want to say the Pacific Herring took a long time for me to find. Come on, big fish, big fish. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> there it is. The shittiest octopus in the world. <laughs> you can't do anything with it. And Ponta doesn't do anything with it either. He just ruined that poor octopus's self-esteem. <laughs> I want to thank Duolog for drawing the picture of the oscillating octopus, though. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture right now. It's just an octopus that's wiggling. But it's still perfect anyway. Sounds like a really bad character in Metal Gear. Oh god, look at this fish print. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Monkfish terrify me, and they're used for an actual recipe. Oh my god. So imagine getting up the nerve to kill and clean one of those. Is it poison? I don't know. There's only a few fish that are missing after this. All of them are in the... Whoa. <laughs> awesome. 
but uh, all of them are in the underground cave, and you can only get them during the spring. But there's just like three left after this season, and I was so annoyed that I couldn't get the underground cave until later. Theoretically, if I could have done that, I could have unlocked all of the fish in this one year. I do think it's pretty cool that a lot of the individual stories all intertwine with each other. So like the robot crow, that's part of Alice's story. But after that happens, that actually scares this little endangered weasel that Gwen is following. And protecting the weasel is her story. That's cool. It's like real life where things affect things. Yeah. Oh, she named it Snowball. It's cute and tiny. It's like a ferret. They are cousins. <laughs> Just in case it's news to anyone, we're gonna get a ferret when we move in together. What did we decide we were gonna name it? Gerald. Gerald? <laughs> yep. Well, I decided. You could change it if you want. <laughs> oh, that works for me. Gerald the ferret. and <laughs> He's gonna be great. I wanna say I suggested it, actually, because it's such a strange thing to name a pet. <laughs> so plain and normal. Well, it's sort of a tradition of my family. We just give our pets human names. So, Like Cole and Ruby, the dogs. Yeah, and then our cats were Simon, Callie, Chris, and AJ. Spinach is the winter-specific crop, and it is used for a few recipes. And they grow really quickly, so I just got 25 bags of those. And I'm just gonna plant them constantly. Too bad bok choy doesn't grow quickly, huh? <sighs> <laughs> It's okay, honey. That part should be going up along with this one. Yeah. <laughs> so. Some of these mining puzzles are so convoluted, whereas that one I feel like wasn't giving me enough credit. Yeah. Okay, so I catch an amberjack, and there's a young amberjack. And they're both different fish. You killed a mother and its child. I finished the job. <laughs> it came back for revenge, and then you just shut it down. Oh my god, she's outside. Yeah. That's her character development. I can go outside now. Terrible. <laughs> well, it'd be development for me, so I can't really judge. <laughs> I already knew this was here. I had to wait for Dia to come to my house and say, I found it! And now we can go into this place. But this is the sacred land. This is what we've been looking for for months. I thought it was a grave. And she almost died. <laughs> I'm finally free. I can go outside. Oops! <laughs> This is why I never left. <laughs> For some reason, the way that was framed, it looked like he was contemplating dropping her. <laughs> no one would know. It didn't really look like he was struggling. It was looking like he wasn't struggling with her weight. It looks like he was struggling with an emotion. Hee 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 ha 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 ha. Tra-la-la. It's the stone monument. <laughs> That's not really a riddle. It's just plant stuff here. That's more of a riddle. <laughs> Cold breath means winter. So go figure, we're in the right season. Yeah, that was the hard part. I could have never figured it out. So this is an event where we actually kind of do something, believe it or not. 
We go over to Lila's place, which I think at the time was not open, so I don't know how we got in. We broke in. But she goes ahead and buys some potato seed. Nine seeds, which we're going to plant in the sacred land. We need to water those every day until they grow. The game is insistent on making sure that you water them every single day, but crops don't actually die if you forget one day. They just take an extra day to grow. Game thinks you're really simple. I guess this game is less insulting to me than a lot of other Harvest Moon games have been. <laughs> that face she gave you was really creepy. <laughs> Means we need to find a leprechaun. Damn it, if only this were Grimrock. <laughs> it's that one, that's the face. <laughs> yeah. In case you need a reminder, this is where you go to to get to the sacred land. Just in case. There's actually a few fruit trees around here. Which is an added bonus. Sacred fruit? Mm, well, I can steal it and nobody cares. <laughs> This is also one of the places where you can get cranberries. I want to say in a different season than usual, but I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but all we do is just plant the nine potatoes and wait for them to grow. And then the riddle will continue from there. Embeddingly, it's a pretty clever riddle. But this watering spot is bullshit. <laughs> you have to stand at that exact spot in order to use it. I didn't realize this at first, but now that we've actually found the sacred land, pretty much everyone we talk to will have an option to mention the sacred land to them, and then they'll have unique dialogue. Oh, that's neat. Character. Uh -huh. I saw the sacred land. I saw the sacred land. You know, the place you showed me. I know, I saw it too. Oh my god, we have so much in common. <laughs> Let's get married! What? <laughs> Sorry, I read it in one of the novels that replaced my childhood. He found rare grass. You weren't even there, Parsley. <laughs> I found rare grass which you and your friend trampled over. <laughs> Gwen's face kind of always looks sort of suggestive. Wanna to go to my sacred land? Oh my god, no. <laughs> Her head does imply like a radish. <laughs> Just the shape. Alice's? No, Gwen's. Oh. <laughs> I, I almost felt bad about mentioning the sacred land to Alice because she said, thanks for the tip, now I'm gonna bulldoze it over. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna spoil this early. But in the third year of the game, which is the point that the main story will have already finished, if you don't have higher than a blue heart with some of the bachelorettes, their rivals will actually have unique cutscenes with them. Pretty much everyone is going to pass a blue heart with me, so we're never going to see those. <laughs> Nobody else gets a love, ever. Bluebirds are so rare! In video games, they are for some reason. Yeah, that's strange. Thanks to me. <laughs> I kept eating them. This is, which is a joke I stole from Travis, so... <laughs> Thank you. 
I like how so many of the save the town ideas people come up with is, let's find an endangered animal and make it show up here. It doesn't actually live here, it just has to appear. Well, I guess that would be the easiest way to, like, protect some place that was under threat of being bulldozed. Like, nope, it's a sanctuary. Look, this rare thing lives here. I thought she was an idiot. <laughs> I laughed in her face. It's not even close, but I thought Woody had said, Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> well, we don't. <laughs> Who knows what's going on behind those closed eyes? Yeah. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen, because I haven't seen any. <laughs> <laughs> Especially a blue bird, stop talking to me. <laughs> I really want her dress, but in, like, blue. Yeah. <laughs> and I was a young man. My father took me into the city. I never forgave him. <laughs> we need a fish print for the amberjack and the young amberjack. Two completely different fish. But they look exactly the same. For some reason, I want just one of the fish prints to- the paper's too small, so you just get, like, the side of a fish. <laughs> but not the tail or the head. I don't know where he finds the paper, because... I gave him a tuna, and it, the thing was huge, but his paw print was so tiny. Like, it was to scale, but somehow it worked. I don't think oranges, grapes, and apples mixed would be all that tasty, honestly. Yeah. I like how when you put stuff in a blender it says it's cooking. I'm like, no. <laughs> if you let it sit and burn. <laughs> Just from friction. I had to actually make the marinated smell for some reason. Ponta wouldn't give me the recipe. Oh. It's his family recipe. He's keeping it to himself. I think it's the new synthesized crops now that I've got the spinach. Patanich. Patanich. These don't sound like they'd work. Or be... Spinkin'. Spink... Spinkin'? <laughs> that sounds like a slur. Sp I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, it sounds a little... <sighs> that are the name of a really dorky elf. Spinkin' the elf! Spinkin'! Spinkin' the elf. <laughs> Walks in your house holding a bottle of brandy, I'm here to make your dreams come true. <laughs> oh my god, no. How did my horse get sick? I was feeding it. Bob came in and made it sick, remember? <laughs> like he did with your chicken. And he didn't have the courtesy to tell me this time. I heard something really juicy. It was about juice. <laughs> Sorry for waking you. <laughs> Turns around, leaves. Tim heard of a hundred-year-old cherry tree, which is as good an idea as any as far as turning the place into a sanctuary. Yeah, true. This is actually an interesting event because it's both his and Parsley's. And depending on your friendship level with either of them, one or the other will come to you with the idea. Apparently I'm better friends with Tim, so now it's his story. Well, he considers you his brother now, so... Yeah. Although, from this point out, I'm mainly going to be talking to Parsley. You fulfilled your purpose. Go away, child. <laughs> Tim isn't really 
necessary for many things, as it turns out. <laughs> well, yeah, he's like six. He's earnest. Which is appreciated. But you're a child, you can't do much. So I don't need to actually go out and find Deep Forest Slumber. I just need to talk to Woody, he has some. Because of course he does. <laughs> he chose the name, he has to live up to it. He looks very tired. Well, yeah, he hasn't even woken up. <laughs> <laughs> no, my back hurts. I can't tell which are supposed to be his eyelids. Which lines. A lot of this dialogue is pointless. He's like, what, you want to go cut down some deforest lumber? I don't wanna... Oh, wait, I already have some here. <clears throat> that was hard. I think he just, like, woke him up from a drunken stupor. Here, just, just fucking take it out of <laughs> Let me sleep! It seems any event where you actually get an item from someone requires you to wait the next day in order to give the item to the other person. So we need to wait a day in order to give it to Parsley. <laughs> so now that the Robot Crow terrorized the town, Lewis gets an idea in order to come up with something that'll protect them from Robot Crows. Because somehow he knows that there are more. We've only ever seen one, and more do pop up, but somehow he just already knows that. <laughs> so his story is just making a robot scarecrow. Oh, it actually is? I thought it was. <laughs> nope. That's his story. Oh my god. That's amazing. He wanted us to go out and get some ore, which I already had stored away, because I knew I would need that for some requests. So I just went home, grabbed it, and say, look what I dug up. Lucky you don't speak, you just make disappointed faces at him. <laughs> I don't know, I dreamt that Cthulhu at a tea party and... Look, <laughs> I chose to forget the rest of it, but I've had some wild dreams, is my point. <laughs> Wait, have you actually? <laughs> Maybe, I don't remember them all. <laughs> Yeah, that's the weird thing about me. I know I have dreams, but I don't remember any of them. Looks like your no-name has gone fast. Meh. <laughs> so this is another element of the story with Bob and Gwen. We can actually have test races with them. Oh joy. <laughs> I know how much you love horse racing. I got a little more into it once I actually started doing it. And Bob here is not a challenge. He's got the same horse as us. He looks like he shouldn't be able to ride that horse. More that it looks like the horse shouldn't be able to carry him. Yeah. See, look at that. I've already pretty much won now. <laughs> what, he, he can't get past you? No, he just never does. As long as the speed lines are going past you, you don't really need to whip the horse. <laughs> it means you're going fast. It seems stamina only really goes down quickly when you're actively trying to speed up the horse. <laughs> I love the horse's reaction when you hit a wall. Yeah. Just complete overreaction. <laughs> WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! WHY?! <laughs> We're basically doing the long race. Uh. <laughs> I got very close to running out of stamina. Oh crap. Look how far behind he is. You don't even see him. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's a joust now. Surprise.
This is actually optional. We did not need to race him. But I just wanted to show him up. <laughs> the only thing that's required for a story is doing the qualifying race. We're seeing the blue plants growing up. Those are the synthesized plants. Ah. What do you use them for? They're just for growing. Like, other plants. <laughs> it's an extra thing. You can't make recipes with them? All they do is make one of each type of the seed that you put into them. Ah. At the same time. The benefit is that they can be grown in any season, regardless of if the seed that you put into them is specific to a season. Which has its benefits. Yeah, Tim couldn't do the thing that actually requires effort and adults. <laughs> he said he looked, but I'm pretty sure he just played video games all day. He looked, by which I mean he just looked in the forest. Around. <laughs> Every time, he just looks like he's accusing you of stuff. <laughs> Are you why I passed out? <laughs> you look so happy about him passing out. <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> Quietest day of my life. <laughs> Quietest week of my life. I wish you hadn't come. He wants some pretty rare ore, but luckily I already have those stored away as well, because I knew he would need them. <laughs> How do you know you won't lose them if I give them to you altogether? Ooh. Stardust is the winter flower. Looks less like stardust and more like a supernova, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's where stardust comes from. So this is the puzzle, which I think is pretty interesting. We planted them in a 3x3 three three plot. The ones in the back have actually withered away, but that means the ones that are still alive have formed a triangle. Oh, that's clever, actually. And a triangle is pointing in a specific location. Huh. What we get might be kind of disappointing. More seeds. <laughs> Just a, a bit. I was promised gold. <laughs> no, that won't happen. At the very least, Dia is going to plan to take care of the seed for us. We don't need to worry about it anymore. There's that face again. <laughs> Why? I think I'm coming down with a cold hanging out here. <laughs> At the very least, I could take my potatoes back. They're basically six free potatoes. This is a bit of additional character development to Dia, because she is actively taking care of the plants herself. And she seems to be having a good time. She's not ordering her maid to do it. You know, an emotion. That's rare. I've never seen an emotion on her face before. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> what? I like how she was so flippant. What do you want? Man, I love it here. <laughs> I 
After the story with Alice starts to progress, she gets a little antsy when you come around. I think she's starting to feel the butterflies. Oh no, she's the Cindere. Not as annoying as it could be, though. Okay. Which I appreciate. Eek. She's got a very friendly face, though. Kind of juxtapositions her personality. Juxtaposes. Words. So I got a strawberry from that. That's one of the failed seed fusions. And as an example of how sometimes you'll actually get a mineral version of the crop. What? Yeah. It's weird. You go to bite into it and your teeth just grinds against, like, dirt. I probably should have hung on to that mineral carrot because that's an even better speed-up item for when I get to the horse races. But I didn't. Because money. <laughs> money makes the world around. Chester is a man very full of love. But if you open up that drawbridge of love, and let the ship of hate flow through, <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs> He's talking about the bridge of love, you look very uncomfortable, just... Don't, I don't like where this is going. With the cake contest postponed, Katie has a chance to actually practice making cakes. Because she doesn't really do that. So I don't know how she expected to actually win the contest. I'll just win because I'm cute. We'll get a whoa. I did actually have a librarian at an old school of mine who said if you didn't pronounce like what and where is what and where that you'd eventually suffocate. <laughs> what? I'm just like, what? No, I was like, what? And she just quietly sobbed. <laughs> Yay, it works properly. So that's, that's all that happens when you fuse two seeds together. You get one of each. Oh, I see. The crop immediately dies afterwards. But it's a cool idea anyway. <laughs> he forgot his own <laughs> birthday. Well, I need to make sure that you're actually finishing your story. Yeah. I need to make sure you're actually doing your job. I don't trust you is the thing. As you befriend people, their dialogue when you give them gifts might change. Dia went from, is this poisonous, to, this is sweet. <laughs> Big advancement, I know. Well, she goes from thinking you're giving her poison to not, so... <laughs> Golden eggs, I want to say, are one of Gina's best items to give her. But it's kind of wasteful. <laughs> Alice is very honest here. Thanks for the gift, we might use it against you. <laughs> Seriously though, her dialogue doesn't really match the friendly face she has in her main character model. Oh well. You're a pain in my ass. <laughs> he. Tee hee. She. <laughs> I don't want to sing to the rock. It might explode if I hit the right note, but... <laughs> that seems kind of convoluted. 
there's that purple rock at the end, which releases this huge blast, which would be very useful if there was anything there, but it's the last rock in the sequence. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I'm guessing it's mostly to throw you off. Uh. Uh-huh, you thought you were going to be able to use the cool thing. Well, no. You're playing Harvest Moon here of Leaf Valley. Haha. -ha. Despite it being one of the better Harvest Moon games. <laughs> but I'm a dick! <laughs> We'll see you in winter part two. Yep.